redirect you, Joe. You can pull the pole back. Uh, well, I can't pull it back some, I think. Oh, you, you know. We're out there. Wait a minute. Hey, that's a beautiful place to cut it, right? See? Yes. Yeah, you're in the right area if you get through those wires. Uh, uh. Just take your time. Okay, Houston, we're out there. We uh, we have the debris in sight. There looks like enough room to get the cutter. And uh, I'm trying to help Joe stabilize. And Joe, you're way past it, it looks like. I don't think I am. Yes, you are. Come, come towards me. I'm not past it. No, you got, if you're going to hook it down there, you are. Well, you know what I'm going to have to do then? Wait a minute. I no. might get enough out of it there. See, I've got it tethered, and that prevents me from right. pulling it back too damn far. All right, you need to move the tether up. Wait a minute. You're still in front of it. I mean, it's down minus X. Yeah, you're right. I'll tell you when you're on it. Houston, I'm going to try to get to the command module with the TV so you can get a look at your sail. All right, yeah, wait. Yeah, we've got a way to get you some calm here, uh, PJ. Joe? I mean, yeah. cooling. You, you, you're battling the tail. Let's let that go. I know I am. I'm going okay, to have to Let's come together. back in here. Let's come back in here. Just take it easy. And let me help you. I'm going to have to untether it, Pete. Now, that's my tethered around my feet, right? Let yeah. me turn around. Okay, now it's loose. Where's my tether? Oh, uh, crap. It's all right. Okay. It goes in front of your feet, but it goes straight back into the airlock. You're all right. Yeah, let me see if I can help you. Now, could you just it over towards me. PJ. Can you see the corner of the sail, the orange corner? Uh, stand by. I think we can psych it out. We do have a good picture. Hey, let me. Come back a little. Now you got to go forward. Oh, that's it. Now come up. Okay, uh, we've got it, uh, PJ. Could you hold one foot? Are you trying? Are you that stable? If you can hold one foot, man, I can use both hands on this.
got enough. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm not tired. I'm a little frustrated because I have no place to secure myself here. Houston, I got a suggestion. Okay, uh, we're reading you. I understand you're having trouble in uh, in maintaining your position in order to hook it on a strap. Uh, can you give us a little more uh, detail? We're hearing a lot of the conversation, but we haven't got a very good picture of it. Uh, let's just cool it till we get done. We're working the problem. Bunch of wires in the way. God, that prevented you from getting it that time. Uh We operated on the opposite side of the disc cone from the one you're operating on. That is, we operated from the right-hand side of the disc cone. That may help you if you need more pull. It's not a question. It's not a question. I've got more than enough pull. Rusty, it's a question of keeping my feet from flying away so that I can not only reach the thing, but hold it there. Okay, the only thing I can say that in the water tank we stood up almost parallel with a disc cone uh, with our feet down by the base and used the disc cone as a handhold. That helped us. You might want to try that. It's, I'm young doing that. It's not a handhold I need, Rusty. It's a foothold. Right. We put our feet right at the, the, the base of the disc cone. That's we only where they are, Rusty. Okay. It's easy to get it in touch, but it's impossible to get it to stay there. Not impossible. Take it easy. It just takes a little longer. I may see what I'm doing. I'm trying to fight the hold it onto this rope right at the moment. No. No, I don't think so now. Whoops. <laughs> I'm giving you as much as I can give you. Yeah. you're on 
pull towards me, and that ought to pull it right to the base. Uh-uh. No, you're not on it yet. It's pretty thick, Rusty. That's the trouble. It's the trouble. The damn jaws aren't far enough open. Right. Try closing it, Rusty. Hey. Right now. Wait a minute. Hold it. Did do it? No. Mostly because it pulled off while we were closing it. The only other thing we can think of, Joe, is to make sure that they're fully open before you try to get it over. That'll give you the maximum chance. Right. Well, we're we're, we're going to take it back right now and reset it. Probably may not have to take it back. Let me pull on it and see if it'll reset. Okay. You got a piece of wire at that time, anyhow. You were on it. Yeah, I know it. Just for your information, uh, you still got plenty of time here to sunset. You got uh, 29 minutes left. Yeah, we're we're not sweating anything. I'll tell you, Rusty, the the strap is is oriented in in the worst direction. Joe, I don't know. Wait a minute, drop. Just a second, let me get the get the pull line again. Okay. The strap happens to be oriented in such a manner, even though it's not wide, it's presenting its widest side to the cutters. I can't see, Joe, although I'll try. Uh -huh. You know, you can change positions. 